White Eagle Saloon and Hotel has got some charm. Built in 1905, it's got an old feel to it. But spend a night upstairs and the creepy factor might just go up. Uh, this is room three, and this is one of the rooms that has the most activity. Guests report thumping under the bed, sinks turning on and off, and seeing ghosts in the room. Whoever stayed here last night apparently heard the stories. And they had put salt all the way around the bed to protect themselves. Legend has it that a prostitute named Rose roams here. Her room was room number four, and so... She got pushed down the steps by a client. And over in Old Town, another woman by the name of Nina is said to haunt Old Town Pizza and Brewery, the eatery in the lobby of the old merchant hotel built in the 1880s. It's one of the oldest buildings in Portland. So this is the elevator shaft, and uh, legend has it that Nina, who is our, our resident ghost, was murdered in this very uh, elevator shaft. Her name even carved into the brick at the bottom of the elevator shaft. And just about a year ago, something strange happened when a delivery guy was transporting wine into the basement. And he said, I saw the ghost and ran out of there and he asked to be taken off the delivery route here. Underneath Old Town Pizza and Brewery are the Shanghai Tunnels, believed to be another haunted hangout in Portland. People were robbed, people were mugged, people were killed, people disappeared. This, this all was happening in Portland. The rumor is that bars across Portland had trap doors. People would fall through, get knocked out, and be forced to work on ships at sea. But Portland historian Kevin Moore says that's not the case. Not every bar in Portland had a trap door in it. He says the tunnels were more for moving goods. Still, he says these tunnels and other places around town are haunted. Spirits from the past with unfinished business. And in fact, he says down here in the basement of the Merchant Hotel, there's a well-known ghost named Sam who, in his experience, has turned off the lights here when they were on, moved benches around as well. And by the way, if you're interested in supernatural stuff, there are still spots available in the 9 p.m. Bizarre Walking Tour with the Portland Walking Tour. And, you know, they give you some pretty cool things like this electromagnetic field meter and apparently it's supposed to you know light up when things are going going off around you but I, I can't tell whether it's the camera my cell phone or something else back to you I think it may be something else because don't look now but we think that ghost Sam might be behind you right now Christine no pretty spooky <laughs> stop I don't need that <laughs> thank you Christine